Okay, now for time for the big reveal. Uh, my previous video was a hitch video, and this is on the uh, new Big Tex trailer that I purchased. Uh, the model number is a 14 OD. Uh, it is a 14 foot deck over dump trailer uh, with a scissor lift. Um, been real happy with this trailer. Um, I've been hauling a lot of uh, aggregates for a project. I've been working on a build, building a uh, concrete block wall. Uh, not poured concrete, just the uh, interlocking uh, concrete wall. And I've needed all kinds of aggregate. Uh, I needed a way to haul pallets. Um, and this deck over is, is pretty awesome. Just while I've got, the, got it up here, I wanted to show you. That's where the ramps are stored. I still can haul my tractor on this trailer. Um, super duper beefy uh, frame. Um, a nice box. Uh, it does have a safety arm to hold the, uh, the dump up if you need to do maintenance. Uh, the scissor lift is pretty awesome. I've had uh, basically full or slightly over capacity loads on this and this scissor has had no trouble at all lifting it up. Uh, even if uh, you get a little bit too much loaded up front. If you'll notice the tires are a little further back on these dump trailers um, and they pull a lot different than a, an equipment trailer um, and I actually like it. Um, it's, it's a lot more maneuverable uh, and you can get it places. Uh, I'm just going to pull the dump down here so you can kind of see this is not a power down dump. Um, I don't know that I'll miss that. I've had a dump trailer before and it had power down and I really liked it, but it doesn't seem to be an issue on this one because it's just so heavy. Controls just a nice little industrial plastic uh, push button. And I picked this trailer up locally. Um, the only thing that uh, I really had to do to it, it does not come with a, uh, a tarp. Uh, I, I did buy it from that, that, that local dealer, um, and they basically brought it out to me and I installed it myself uh, versus uh, having it installed. Um, it's just a couple of bolts and I did it out in the parking lot. Uh, this works great, and basically what I do on my, my rope, a lot of people have issues with this, is just let that rope wind up and basically tie a knot that will slip over this or slip over something, uh, and just tighten it up, and it'll stay where it's supposed to stay. Uh, and this is a manual unit. I think they have an automatic unit as well. And just kind of give you an idea of the, uh, the size of this. I'm going to back up here. Just kind of give you a shot. It's basically a little bit, about the same size as a truck, I guess, other than the tongue. Uh, but it pulls nice, even fully loaded. Uh, <clears throat> these have 7,000 pound axles. Um, pretty much it has grease fittings anywhere that there's a joint. Um, the interior deck, it's got D-rings for, for doing equipment. Uh, I haven't had any issues. Uh, usually what I do is I actually pull it up over to this... Uh, this gravel area and just load my tractor in with it slightly dumped up just to decrease the ramp loading angle uh, on my Massey. <clears throat> this on the Big Tex dumps, uh, they have a this is the arm that actually controls the swing gate. Um, you have a basically a uh, spreader link here. You basically pull that out and hook it in here, and you can dump uh, a measured amount of gravel out, and that actually works pretty well. Um, I've used it twice now in spreader mode and really not had to do a lot of uh, touch up. It pretty much came out the way I expected it to. Uh, it is a barn door as well. Uh, so the gate will actually swing outward with a spreader set up and this is the latch for that. With this closed, you can see the uh, joints here. Um, you can basically pull this off. This is really hard to do with one hand. really simple cam lock style um, you got a cam on the bottom and a cam on the other door uh, this does does open up completely flat and basically what you end up with is sides fold down too and all you have is these corners um, which is really nice uh, I went up and grabbed a 
a pallet of rock and basically fold it down the side, which I'll do here in just a second. And was able to get a pallet directly loaded with a forklift, which is really difficult to do on an equipment trailer like uh, my little trailer here. It's really, it's about impossible to load unless you build up the bottom up to the side height, which is not real practical. Uh, to get the size down, it's really easy. Uh, basically, you pull on these pins. And it's got a locking position. You just pull it up, and the whole side will fold down. I'm going to set this camera down just for a second. Okay, so we've got the side detached now. Uh, and it just folds down. It's really easy to do. Uh, you end up pretty much with a flat side that you can load anything you want. Uh, and you know with it having a 14,000 uh, pound gross vehicle weight, you can load, the trailer weighs approximately like 4,100 pounds. Uh, so you can get right at 10,000 pounds on this trailer. Um, and I've hauled gravel, pallets, mulch, uh, you know, larger rock and uh, the bed seems to be taking it really well. Um, no, no big dings or dents, just a few scratches. Um, okay, so as far as the trailer goes, I love it. I don't, I don't really have any complaints. The only issues that I really had with this trailer, um, I guess when I got it, it had been sitting out for a while. I've still got some joints that are not super duper greased as well as I'd like them. And I don't want to just, you know, push grease out everywhere so I'm, I've been slowly greasing it and working it and getting everything working well uh, the only other issue that I had with it is with these sides it looks like they maybe plasma cut these holes um, which I kind of understand I mean they're trying to get a really tight fit uh, and it does mesh up well but there's a little bit of debris uh, in there and I had a little bit of trouble with them when I first got it I lubed those up got them cleaned up and they're actually working really well now um, but you know just kind of a difficult thing to learn how to do while you're when you're out you know trying to get a load secured and you can't get the side up uh but that again that's resolved and, and working great uh basically if you get one of these trailers just make sure that this is really good and clean and make sure that your post doesn't have a piece of this slag uh that's got sucked back in um and i did go ahead and put a little bit of marine grease uh, on everything that slides just to make sure that it, it would move really well um, All of these joints have grease fittings on them <coughs> Again, this is just the other side of the trailer big Tex uh, 1-4 OD uh, I'm assuming that stands for 14 foot over deck trailer um it's not really that wide. Uh, it's about the same width as the truck, not much more. Uh, so there's not a lot of uh, a lot of issues. I've had other overdecks that are the full width. Uh, this one is not. Um, it's basically the same width as my fifth wheel. So um, it's really easy to tow and get around. I'm able to back it in and get it into parts of the yard that uh, um, you know I take my little equipment trailer uh, and it hasn't had any problems. Um, as far as securing loads, basically I go into the gravel yard. Uh, they dump the load, I go to the weigh scale, pull right outside and pull my tarp over and attach it. Um, it does come with some uh, mounting hardware, which I didn't use for the rear. Uh, basically what I do with it is I just kind of uh, cover up the, uh, the rope. And uh, I've got some weights that I put down or some, depending on what the load is, I'll put some rubber, rubber straps, which it did come with, uh, just to hold the rear of the tarp. Uh, the tarp that I got, I think it's the buyer's unit that fits this. Um, and if I, if I can find that, I'll put that on a link as well if you end up getting one of these trailers and, and don't want to pay dealer prices for the, uh, uh, the tarp kit. Um, although they did give me a good deal, uh, I just went ahead and bought it there. Anyway, I hope you like the videos, and uh, this is kind of what I've been doing the last month. Um, uh, been building a concrete wall. I'll try to go up when I, when I get done here and, uh, uh, take a quick shot or a quick video of uh, kind of where I'm at with it. 